So what's going on tool groupies? It's the Backwoods Mechanic here. You can also find me on Facebook under the Backwoods Hippie Garage. And if you're into politics, just type in the Backwoods Hippie because I also do political activist videos on the side, both on Facebook and YouTube. Links will be in the description box below so that we can continue making America great again. But today we're going to talk about making repairs great again. In order to make repairs great again, though, you had to have the tools to do the job with. Regardless of what it is that you've got, you need something that's halfway good quality so you can actually do the job in a decent amount of time without costing yourself time, money, and screwing up something that you're working on, regardless of whatever it may be. Now, today's items on the list are not going to be these particular products. Now, these products, these blue handled ones right here, they're channel locks. And these sets of channel locks have been around for ages. Actually, some of the sets I've got right here was my father's, and he used them in the coal mines. And this is like 30, 40 years ago. He passed them on to me when I got him some new sets of tools. He gave me his old ones, and I'm still using them to this day to do a wide variety of work from boat repairs, industrial machines, mobile mechanic work, plumbing work, carpentry, electrical. I do it all. So I've used the hell out of these things. They are made in the USA and I love them. They're worth the price to pay for them. They are a little bit high dollar compared to rest, but not everybody can afford the high dollar items from time to time. If you can afford to invest in them, do it. All the channel lock name brand stuff is high quality American made stuff. But sometimes you got to buy whatever you can buy, whether it's Task Force, Pittsburgh Pro, Cobalt, Stanley Tools, you name it, you got to buy it because you have a job to do. And that's what matters is what you do with the tools to make your life easier such as some of them you're seeing right here before you today. Now this one's brand new. I just now uploaded a tool review video of some cobalt items that I got at Lowe's. I'll put that in the link in the description box below. But this particular adjustable wrench was in that set, but it's not what we're looking at here today. You know how it is when you go shopping. Sometimes you got 20 of the same thing, but you got to have 20 more of the same thing. So you have 40. And that's what I did. I decided to take certain tools out, put them in specific locations that I work. I actually got a gig at this plant where they work on industrial machines sometimes. And they call me in and then I had to find a toolbox. I have to hunt for their tools if I use their tools. And it's just a big hassle. So I bought my own toolbox, put my own tools in it. And I decided to buy some new tools for myself and move the old ones out and the new ones in. So I went to Lowe's today after I'd done a job, completed a job, and I picked up this set of groove joint pliers and a few more things. But we're going to talk about this set and one more item on the list because this was right at $20. Sure, I didn't need it. I got plenty of them, but I just decided I wanted it. And I can always put these tools to good use doing a wide variety of things on the side. So let's give them a look. It'll cost you right at $20. The product is made by Cobalt. It's part number 046 Groove Joint Plier Set. Hassle-free lifetime guarantee. 8 inch max jaw, 1 and 3 8 inch. 5 jaw positions, 10 inch, max jaw 2 inch, 7 jaw position, then you got 12 inch, max jaw is 2 and 5 16 inch, 7 jaw position. It is made from chrome nickel, so it is durable chrome nickel steel, 8 inch and 10 inch, which is 20-3 centimeters, 10 inches, 25-4 centimeters, or of course... You got 12 inches, 30-5 centimeters in this three-piece set. The items, of course, are made from drop forge chrome nickel steel, hardened precision machined jaws for enhanced grip and durability, tongue and groove design, overmolded comfort grip. And it always has the lifetime hassle-free guarantee if they don't work if they break you just return it from the place of purchase and they will give it to you free you go get yourself a replacement you walk out the door no questions asked that's what this says here so i'm pretty sure you get legal rights one way or the other even if they stop making this stuff they're going to have to honor their warranty because they have it right there in black and white now of course you can Go to Lowe's or you can call one 888 3 cobalt 
which is 1-888-356-2258, or just go to cobalttools.com. Of course, this product is made in China. These have got really nice comfort grips on them. It's got the black design. You see the CRNI on them for chrome nickel plating. They are actually a really nice looking product. Now, of course, the durability all depends on the Chinese steel, which has not got a good reputation, but where this is mixed with nickel, this might actually be a really nice, really durable item. Now, on the back of each one of these, they will have the part number, if you have to warranty them out, 464-634, and this is for the 12-inch. Then, of course, the 10 is 464-626. Get you a good look at the teeth. And of course, they are adjustable in a variety of positions, depending on which one of these pliers you're picking up. The comfort grip really does feel nice now over time if it slips off they tear they break well i'll have to do a video and show you about it to let you know if they're junk or not because these are over 30 to 40 years old and they're still on there now for our little pair of pliers product number 464 620 buying these individually now, I looked at Craftsman, and I really wanted to buy the Craftsman. I was getting ready to buy the Craftsman. The Craftsman for the 12-inch is right around $12 to $13, counting tax and all. But the problem was, whenever I look at stuff, I try to look at the forging on it. I try to look and see if there's any fractures, if there's any bad forging, bad grinding, bad honing, whatever it is they call it. And there was on the Craftsman on several different items, but there wasn't on these particular items. Now if you come over here and look at the actual channel lock name brand, they're gonna run you around $20, $25, $30, depending on the size you need, the style you need, $14, you know. I mean, it's gonna be up there. These buying them individually is about eight bucks, $10, $12, $10, you know. It's in that range. So buying them individually, you're going to cost yourself more money. But the fact that they got three of them for 20 bucks, you can always pick up the one particular one you need, throw in an extra few dollars, put it in the place you need it at, and then you got one or two extra ones in case you run into something in the future you might need. A lot of people don't use these too often for a whole lot of stuff. Whenever you do use them, you do want them and you do need them and you want them to work right. And essentially, I picked these up as a replacement brand because I had some task force, some of the old task force items that I've used the far out of for certain jobs, and I decided to move those off to a separate location at a workplace, and I bought these to take their place for my own personal use. And Cobalt is a really well-known name brand, and these are some really nice products for being chrome nickel plating. So I am very satisfied with these. I will put links in the description box below. Now, as you can see, these will be perfect for plumbing. If you have plumbing needs, they will wrap around the bottom of your sinks, stuff like that. No problem at all. If you need to turn a fastener on something and you need something that's not going to slip, you don't want no knuckle busters like an adjustable wrench, then all you got to do is grab one of these pliers, pull it out, set it up, adjust it where you want it at, let the teeth hold it, and you can get right back to work. They all have a nice wide jaws for their sizes. The teeth are pretty decent. And if they don't last, believe me, I will make a video. I will show you. I will tell you what I've done with them if I've used them that much. If they should have break or not. How the warranty went. Any problems that I have. Any good reviews, bad reviews that I have. Because I do my videos 100% because I buy the tools myself. I'm not given tools. I'm not endorsed by anybody. Nobody pays me to do this. Not even YouTube. 
So whenever I go do a job, I complete a job, I reinvest in the tools, which should tell you that I'm good at my job or I won't be able to buy the tools that I'm buying to do what I'm doing. So I'm presenting these products to you all to let you know what's on the market, what's out there, what's my thoughts and opinions on it. That way you know what to buy, what not to buy, what to give a shot, what not to give a shot. So if you like these videos and more, subscribe. You want to see what I'm doing on the side that I don't put on YouTube? Check out the Backwoods Hippie Garage on Facebook for updates. Till next time, I'll see you then.